Hey guys, Sean here. Um, when I was out and about today, I just I had thought of something. Um, hang on. Sorry about that. I'm apparently weak as, as crap. An owl. Hold on. Cold water. Better than warm water. Was out, when I was out and about today, I thought of something really interesting. Um, there's a scene in in Expedition to Pass where, um, okay, when Expedition to Pass was coming out, the producers say had told us just forget about Origins and Last Stand because this movie is gonna erase them. But then when I saw the movie and I saw they were using footage from Last Stand and Logan's Memories in the scene where. Young Xavier kind of taps into Logan's memory when Logan says, look into my mind. And we see footage uh, from Last Stand of Logan killing Jean. So I was watching the movie, I was like, if they're trying to make us forget Last Stand, why would they show footage from that? Because it's just reminding us of Last Stand. But having seen Apocalypse just recently, twice, it made me realize something. That maybe that scene was put in there for a purpose. Because... And for spoilers for, for Apocalypse, if you guys haven't seen the the movie or my, or if you guys haven't seen the movie, then then just turn this video off, go watch something else. But so minor spoilers. In the end of the, the movie, okay, in the movie they kind of set up the Phoenix storyline, where Gene is having these like post-apocalyptic end of the world you know nightmares, and when she's having these nightmares, her powers are out of control pretty much. And then, you know, at the end of the movie when uh, Xavier's been in Michigan and the crap kicked out of him by Apocalypse in the astral plane world, or whatever you want to call it, um, he has Jean use her full powers to basically beat Apocalypse. And then we see, and then as she's using her powers to let him go, we see the Firebird, which is pretty much the Phoenix Firebird, pretty much. Um, I only know that by watching uh, other people's videos on on the movies and stuff. But anyway. Okay, and then also, so also, so I thought, having, by having the scene in Days of the Past, where Logan shows Xavier his memories, and we see the footage from Last Stand, it kind of made me thinking. And then also, there's a scene on the plane in Last Stand, on their way to DC, when Logan says, promise me you'll find us, uh, Storm, Scott, and then he breaks when he says Gene because of what happened in the last stand. Promise me you'll find us. And then Xavier says, I'll do my best. And then Logan says, your best is enough. But what I'm thinking is, and then there's also a scene in the mo in Digi's Brass where Logan goes over this whole spiel about how Xavier got his powers, whereas in the first movie, Xavier only gave us broad strokes, as you say. But then my sister said that even though we didn't see Xavier telling Logan the full story, that doesn't mean there couldn't have been a point where he'd known. So maybe I was thinking that while they were on the plane on the way to DC, maybe after he's saying, your best is enough, maybe he went into the, the story of where Logan maybe mentions about what happened to Gene, about how Xavier would in the future try to, as Logan says in Last Stand, cage the beast. And so I think now, with the information that Xavier has, based on Logan's memories, and probably what we don't see him tell Xavier, it teaches him in the last, in the, in the end fight of Apocalypse, to not, again, to not cage the beast. So I just thought that was really interesting about, and I know that probably was not in their intention when, when they made Apocalypse, or when they made Days of Future Past, because look what happened. Days of Future Past, minor spoilers, again, for both these movies. In the end of Days of Future Past, we see that the striker that picks up Wolverine is actually Mystique. But yet, in Apocalypse, Mystique doesn't have Wolverine. The real striker does. So, a little confusing right there. But yeah, it's just something I thought about, though, that maybe the scene in Days of Future Past where Logan is showing Xavier his memories, and we see that last stand scene it kind of informs Xavier going forward to not try and cage the Phoenix. 
to let her release her full power and to hopefully try and control, help her control it. Because otherwise, as we've seen before in the other movies, it comes back to bite his name in the ass. Literally, because... Yeah. So, that's just, just a video I wanted to put up. It's something I thought about. Um, so, this is just, like I said, just, just a video I thought... Something I, just a little thought that popped in my head when I was out in, out on, in, out in town. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, and I will catch you guys next time.